Hey guys, it's Mohammed here from Tekka Reviews and in today's video I have the new 2020 edition Amazon Fire TV stick. Before we unbox and review what's new in this year's release, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Now without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So to kick things off, for those of you that don't know, the Fire TV Stick is Amazon's portable streaming device that can give you access to thousands of movies and TV shows. The device lets you stream through your favourite apps such as Netflix, Prime, YouTube and Hulu amongst others as well, providing that you have a subscription. The Fire Stick pretty much works with any TV as long as you have a HDMI slot available and access to Wi-Fi. Since the product was first released back in November 2014, we have seen a number of variations and updates made to this device such as improved performance and 4K support. However, for this year's 2020 model, we do see some useful features that Amazon have included, but does it justify upgrading and purchasing the new 2020 edition? Let's find out. So one of the biggest changes is that Amazon claimed the new Fire Stick is 50% more powerful than the previous 2019 model. The processor has a quad core of 1.7 GHz as opposed to last year's model which was 1.3 as well as supporting Android 9 Level 28 and the latest Fire 7 operating system. You still get Alexa voice control which you can activate by holding the speaker button to find the best dramas available, but this time the remote also comes with TV controls included. This version does not have 4K included but instead displays at 1080p, however you can bet your last fiver that Amazon will probably release a 4K 2020 edition of the Fire Stick later on. Finally, the 2020 edition also enables you to achieve enhanced clarity when connected to your Dolby Atmos speakers. However, as I don't have this device, I can't really comment on this any further. Inside the box, you get the Amazon Fire TV stick, as well as one Alexa remote, two AAA batteries, one USB cable, one power adapter, one HDMI extender cable, in case you have no room behind your TV to add the Fire stick horizontally, and finally, instructions on how to set up your device. The setup process of this device is pretty straightforward. Start by connecting the Fire Stick to your TV's HDMI port and then insert the micro USB end from the USB cable provided into the Fire Stick. Insert the second end of the USB cable into the power adapter supplied and then insert the power adapter into the switch. Once the Fire Stick has loaded, you will then be prompted to follow instructions on screen to set up your device. Follow the instructions and once complete, you should be good to go from there. Please note, to use the Amazon Fire Stick, you will need an Amazon account However, Prime is not required. Once you've gone through the setup process, you will then be presented with the user interface. The UI is pretty neat and organized, and you can also download any additional apps or services from the Amazon App Store. Overall, excluding the performance upgrades, it's pretty much the same Fire Stick we know and love. If you're thinking about upgrading your previous year's model to this one, then I'd probably wait for the 4K version to be released first and then upgrade to that, providing you have a 4K TV that is. However, if you're thinking about purchasing a Fire Stick for the first time, then you should definitely wait no longer and purchase this device ASAP. The fact that you have access to thousands of movies and TV shows, and the device being portable and can be taken wherever you go, was enough for me and justified purchasing this device. If you're interested in purchasing the Amazon Fire TV Stick, or any of the previous models, then you can find the links to purchase in the description below. But that's all from me guys. What was your favourite thing about the Amazon Fire Stick? And will you be upgrading to the 2020 model? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Mohammed from Tekka Reviews and I'll see you all in the next video.